So they can see. I'm just going to do a little mist here. I'll just go. Again, I'm starting off. Oh, here's another thing. Ah, see, you learn all this stuff. It has a black dot. What do you think? Turn it to the black dot. So that the tube is going to be, so you get optimal use out of your, oh, and the cans can be recycled. Okay. But make sure you, um, you open them up. I do a hacksaw and then put them in the recycle. Okay. And I can see dust on there. I can see specks. I can see all kinds of stuff. So you'll be able to tell that that was not clean if you can see little stuff in there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll just, now we just hit it with the gun, let it dry. And you can see it dry before your eyes. It goes pretty quick. Okay, it's done. So, and one of the things is not to make bubbles. You just want to squeeze it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry up. We'll make a thicker line going slow. Done. A little touch of black. Okay, he's happy. I'm going to go grab the hose right there. Just make sure we don't hit that tripod. So you can see what's happening is uh, it's pulling the, the soap is, um, or the paint's kind of withdrawing yeah. from the soap edge. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll hit this. Okay. Just like magic. So there's that, wow. and then I forgot my paper towel, but I usually just damp it down with a paper towel. Paper towel. There we go. So again, this is a one-sided only. Perfect. Still got soap on it, so you can see the white. So it's like, okay, I'll just hose it down a little bit more. And higher pressure is good because you get all... If, it leaves a little bit of paint on there. You want to get it all the way off. High pressure is pretty good stuff. Oops. And so I can see right here, there's still a little paint. Try to get that off. But nah, sometimes it'll come off. So can you repaint that? If, let's say you wanted some other color or some, something's gone wrong. Can you repaint that any old time or do you have to repaint it within a certain period? Repaint it. I'm not sure. Well, let's what? say you put on a bunch of blue, and then the next day you decide you want. Oh yeah. On there. Oh yeah. And yeah. It'll dissolve down into. It'll the it'll bond. Thing. It'll rebond. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any questions on soap? Pretty fantastic. Soap is soap is cool. <laughs> you don't want bubbles in it. Um. Yes, yes. So I have done some with, he's asking, can you, what if you lather it up and put it on with a sponge? Yeah. yeah. So you can, you can do that, a sea sponge kind of thing, and put it on. Um, some things that don't work uh, that, that other people have used. Um, saran wrap, if you've ever seen saran wrap done on enamels, it creates a cool effect. It doesn't work on this paint. Okay? It dries too quick. It dries too quick. You can't manipulate the paint.
it's already starting to dry. Once it hits, it's like, okay. So we have some of these boards in there. They might be a little warped, Linda, when we finish with them. Where's she at? They might be a little warped. Okay, are we good with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go do some other stuff here. Go get and you don't want to flatten this, the crinkle out because then you just take away all your peaks and valleys. So it's like, that's okay. All right. Oh, let's see. Diaper, right? And then you can just wipe them down. I'm just going quick, but not a big deal. Don't care about that one. Let's see. Where's my colors? Well, there's red. What do we got? Green. I've never used that, but some of you might want it. Black. What color do you want the crinkle? We'll do that. Two, one color. Yeah. Yeah. Blue on white. Yeah. Or we can do two colors. We can do two colors. And Is there a fuchsia? Red. No, there's no fuchsia. Blue with what? Red. Burgundy. Got a red. Yellow. All right. Okay, perpendicular, hopefully I'm not in your way. Uh, that's magic. Wow. Wow. Okay. Woo. So, and you can make it a fade. I don't have enough down here, so I just come back. Okay, we're good with that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do two color on this, Rotate it. so I'm just gonna do a 180 here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, I go. I wanna I wanna try this. I haven't tried turquoise. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what it looks like. Nah, it might be too light. Nah, it's too light. We'll get some contrast. Yellow. We'll go for red. All right, contrast. Again, perpendicular. If you hold it this way, then you've painted peaks and valleys at the same time. So you don't want to do that. Works better with full cans. Okay, so if you want to do the same thing on the back side, you're going to flip. If you get confused, you just look and say, where's the darkest blue or the darkest spot? This is darker, so that's going to be up on the top. So I just flip that and paint to do both sides. Any questions on crinkle? Hey, okay. no crinkle problems. Uh, let's see. Teal, we don't have teal. We're going to try, pretend this is teal. So I'm going to start at the bottom and paint up to get a fade. Now this barely shows up on this neon green. Can you see that? Yeah. It almost looks gray to me. I don't care for that, but it's what we have. So I'm starting and stopping off and I put lots of coats on there. It's starting to run a little bit there. So if it's running, I can see it's like, oh, that's a little too wet. Yeah. Turquoise would look good on white, not on green. Can you hear the spray that I'm starting and stopping? That's the hardest thing that people have is they don't know when to release. It's just, it's just practice. Start, stop, start, stop. You don't want to just, you don't want to do this. You know. And then you get a run, so you just do a fade. Did you do runs on purpose? Sure. All right. I always make a piece too big so that if 
Yep, that'll work. All right, let's see. Lighter colors first, so I'm going to do a red fade here. Now I'm going to pull the can back to get a smooth transition. Okay? And then if I want it a little more brighter here on the bottom, I can do that. Go back, do the same thing. Okay, so there's that. Now, okay, I don't want to paint this way with blue to get a fade because the overspray is going to fall down on this and cause little purple specks. Okay, so I don't want to do that. So this is a time-consuming part. So I would paint the other side at home because I paint both sides. With red. With red. Okay. And now I'm going to flip and do blue. Blue goes, a little goes a long way. And you can see the overspray where on the red you don't see it as much, but here you can see that overspray. So we'll put another coat right there. And again, paint the other side after this dries. All right, and then to look to see, did I get it even enough or whatever, I just, because I have a window right there, I can just hold it like this, look in the window to see, oh, it's like, no, you know what, I don't have enough paint right here. So I go back, spritz, 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 fill in that spot, done, to make it smooth. All right, what else? So I sprayed from the top down, so you get a lot of that overspray that's falling down. Yeah, but I mean, you, um, you did it without, before you Yeah, did yeah, you flip it the other way, yeah. Let's put red here. Let's see what red does. You know, it's like, eh. Let's see what red does on this. Okay, not so much. There comes to a point where it's too much. Too much? Um, yeah. Muddy. Yeah. Let's do a, let's do a, let's do this. Well, I got red already with some black. So this one, I'll just do a, I'm going to fade this way. Give it a little dry. And again, once the shine's gone, you can put your next coat on there of a different color. Okay, let's do a little splatter. Less pressure on the nozzle. That's a fresh can. There it is. Wow. Barely, barely touching yeah. it. And it's a spit. Okay, so it's just going to spit it out. It's got to find a spot. There's a spot. Okay. I find that that looks dirty in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. That's my yeah. Spencer Chung uses it quite a bit, or used it quite a bit on his kites. I really liked it. Um, hey, so you can see all the overspray went clear over here. Let's do a, let's do one of these. All right. Let's do that. Do we have a blue? Where's my blue? There it is. All right. Let's do this guy with black specks behind it. Several ways. Now you don't want your board to get saturated. I'll move to a new spot. Yeah. So cloud effect. So this has got a lot of paint on it. It's starting to run down, run off that. So um, have another piece ready that's already torn so that this one can dry if you want to do a large piece. 
have multiple pieces of that torn. Yeah, you can reuse that. Yeah. Let me see. Do we have more fabric? Yeah, let's do this. Let's see. Let's do the mango. I think we're we're almost there. I think we're good. Thank you. All right. See a smudge on that already. Yeah, I'll just do this. Is it maroon in there? Burgundy, okay. I already have red. Why am I doing that? I can't tell you how many hundreds of cans I've used. Hundreds. And I kept saying, I wished I'd kept the nozzle for every one so I could count them. Oh, I've only had, in the hundreds and hundreds of cans, I've only had two ever not work properly. So it was a defect of some sort where I press down and the paint just starts coming out at the top. Yeah. Some of you may have experienced yeah. that, right? Um, out of hundreds of cans, two failed. No, I don't care. They send me enough freebies. Yeah, I'll just put a little burgundy. I like it a kind of a darker red. Hit it with the heat gun. And you got your spirit man. Grow, grow, whoever. Uh, Groot, Groot. Let's see, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Sandstone, let's do a little sandstone color. Um, or we can do... Red... Put a little add a stripe in there, stripe in there. Now this is like to get that um, the sandstone look with soap. You could put a couple of layers like that, and then you're going to put your soap on there. And have have that cake. Go warm up, yeah? Woohoo! Okay, so that's just different different stuff. Anything else that I forgot that you saw in there and you thought, how did that work? Um, so you really can't, other than uh, lightly pressing down the nozzle, do a Jackson Pollock where it's just splattered. So you're, um, you're splattering the paint. Uh, you've seen graffiti artists that actually puncture the can oh, with a nail yeah. because they want to do large surfaces uh -huh. instead of shh, right? Bam, puncture the can, just go, and it'll get a large area, a large spray, okay? Not the splattering, right, like Jackson Pollock splatters. Um, you could probably get away with that with, you know, spraying it into a lid or something, and whipping it, yeah. Um, I've not tried it. Let's see what else was in there. tried something like uh, spraying the paint on, like, um, a whisk broom, and then really quickly whipping it. it. Yeah, no, no, no. It usually dries. You yeah, see, I mean, it dries fast. Yeah. It's like you don't have time to do much. No. Even with, uh, so I've done similar to that with toothbrush, right? Okay. Where normally you, you put the paint, you dip the toothbrush into the paint, pull your thumb across it, yeah. and it splatters. Yeah. It dries before you get there. Wow. It's like done. Then there's nothing can add to slow that. I, I don't know that I'd want to. They do have a product called Mess Master. What Mess Master does is it's, it's a dissolvent, so it'll take off some of it, not 100%. I've used it. I've had a can for 20 years now, the original can, because if I have a little oops, I can take a, a Q-tip, put the mess master on it, and try to rub that spot off if it's in the wrong spot, and it'll take most of it off. It'll still have a little bit of residue or a little bit of paint behind it, but it, it's effective. Another cool thing with mess master is you paint two different colors so you crinkle like this and you paint yeah. take another paint put mesh or mess master on it and then you mush it together all right and then it evaporates 
and then you have a mixture of those colors because it reactivates it as a solvent. Um, I tried it on one piece. I think I have a little piece of it in there. Man, it didn't do anything for me. Anything else? Oh, let's try one of those. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can do. Let's see if we can do that. That sounds good, right? We all love that sound. Whoops! Oh no! Glad it was your kite, not mine. Yeah. Blue. We'll do blue on blue. We haven't done that. Um, yeah, you could probably do that. We'll just do a little. A little blue. Works better with three quarter ounce, but manly fabric works. So then you have a fan. Okay, and so you could do it again with a different color. Um, again, uh, the three quarter ounce works better, but that still get, it gets you the effect. Is that what you wanted to see? Was that like that? Okay. And of course, that's always good. Right. You got I just scrub brush. Oh no, no. It used to say it defats the skin on the cans. It doesn't say that anymore. So you couldn't, you know, maybe you bathe in it and it lose all your fat. But so that was a a side effect that it would uh, defat your skin. So, okay. So this is just, you know, wear gloves. Otherwise you're scrubbing it off. And for boys that don't use soap, that'll be there for five years. Tell the kids at school, you don't use soap, it never goes away, boys. So you better use soap. Okay. Anything else? We're done. Let's go warm up. I'll leave the